Here's the portfolio I talked about that I've been working on. Uh, Dr. Von Chilla has been helping me do the edits of these images. Uh, he took them from real uh, photos of comic books, uh, high resolution ones, and then uh, he went through and did all the balancing and all that on the color and, and you know, uh, in, anything that maybe affected it. Uh, great job, you got, you got to see these, but um, I'll just open it and let you look at it. The first one I did was Unexpected 152. It's an awesome Nick Cardi cover, and this really isn't worth much, but this is one of my all-time favorite covers. I love how the one image just tells an awesome story. And, you know, as I was putting this together, or before I started putting it together, here's the two Bernie Wrights and ones that John helped me out is I realized that I'm really at this point in my uh, collecting or part of the hobby is I really like the covers more than anything. Uh, when I do, you know, actually read these now, I read them in something like this, you know. So this is, you know, Fantastic Four and it has all the Galactus stories in it, um, you know, 48 through 50. And then later on, and, you know, I, I realized that it probably didn't make sense to try to chase some of these books. Now, these ones aren't super expensive, but... You'll see some of the ones later uh, are. This one's great. So this is uh, one of the times where Gil Kane penciled and inked his own work. Um, I have this book. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to have from uh, John's collection. Uh, he was, would let it go to me, and uh, it's one that's in my personal collection. And that is one that I go through, but I love seeing the cover. And just to give you an idea, too, th this is how big... That's a normal comic right there. So just to give you an idea how big uh, these are, they're roughly 11 by 17, maybe a little bit bigger. Some of them you'll see in the back, but it's a great Iron Man cover. When I was a kid, this would have got that 20 cents right out of my pocket. It's classic. The other thing I realized when I was doing this is how many of the big Bronze Age books uh, Gil Kane did uh, you know, I, I think back to the Silver Age, and it was really dominated by Kirby. Did all of the key, you know, the big Marvel keys, but Gil Kane definitely did a lot of the uh, the big stuff in in the Bronze Era. And of course, speaking of Jack Kirby, here we go. So two number threes, I thought would be kind of fun to have together. But again, like this book here is several thousand dollars in a in a higher grade, and I have it, you know, already. I have several Fantastic Four collections. Uh, either print or digital or, or both in most cases. And same thing with the Hulk. So I can go back and read those anytime I like. And what I find is the trade paperbacks and the digitals are just so much more fun to read because you can actually see them. Uh, the, the newsprint, unfortunately, doesn't hold up well and, and the lettering especially isn't great. And of course, I got a bunch of Deathlock covers in here and this is his first appearance. It's just a great Rich Buckler cover. I'm going to start it all. And then in this one, actually, in the back is George Perez's first work at Marvel. Uh, he did a backup story, a few-page story in the back. And then this is a great Ed Hannigan cover. Did a lot of work in the Bronze Age. Really not a guy you really hear that much about. But that's one of my favorite Deathlock images, actually, is, is that one right there. And then next was a Mike Zack. Uh, was that Captain America run where Deathlock came to uh, the current Earth to stop what was happening. Uh, and I actually have a copy of this signed by Mike Zack. I was uh, fortunate enough to meet him at a con a few years ago. And then this is a later series, um, and it's uh, Brandon Peterson did this work, but it's just a f fantastic image. I have the one through seven set of this. Um, it's kind of a self-contained story, but this is just photo real artwork here very modern i mean if you compare it to like you know just a basic way that they used to do it back in the 80s and 70s and then another jack kirby classic this is just one of my all-time favorite covers i have several copies of this but uh i just like being able to look at it i take this out all the time now and look at it and then i have more pages so there's more coming but uh, I've done some other ones too, like ads. Uh, I think anyone that collected comics in the 70s remembers this ad. Um, and if you look him up on, or Google him, read the stories about him because it's, it's pretty pretty funny. Um, he really was a charlatan. Uh, 
he wasn't a master really of anything, I don't think, other than the con artist, but just something I remember. And then I came across these on eBay, and you see them every now and again, some nice prints that will come up. And they're a little bit smaller. They're but roughly the right size, or the original size. And I scrape Jack Davis cover. I have this down in my comic area. Um, it's one of my favorites. But, the, you know, it's all these um, EC covers. And then that's the Geiger picture that I had signed at one of the cons. And then this is some Jack Kirby concept art that Mike got me. Um, he ordered it from, I think it's Jack Kirby's grandson uh, runs the art for him now. And you can send away and get it and then some concept art here. And these were, I think, close to when Jack passed. So um, just some cons. I don't think he ever stopped drawing, even at the end. It's a Bob McLeod uh, drawing that I got signed to. Uh, really cool guy. If you ever get a chance to go see him at a con, definitely do that. And then one of my all-time favorites is just uh, Frank Rosetta cover. The colors on it are just awesome. The looks on these guys' faces, too. <laughs> it's just great. That one I may frame, too. So I have these frames that you can take out, and I trade the images out pretty common. Uh, and then... This is another one I think is uncredited, but it's I believe it's one of Gil Kane's first ever comic illustrations. So, and another classic uh, cover for me. Uh, just the subject matter, pretty funny. It's a book Mike first showed me that I I didn't know existed until he, we were going through his collection one time, and he he has several copies of that. So, and then this is one I'm going to frame up, and when it's done, I'll show that in the in the comic room. But. Um, that's just a fantastic cover. And I believe this actually came up before the United States got involved uh, directly in the European conflict. So uh, kind of telling uh, in a lot of ways, but it's just a great cover. That's one that uh, someday I would love to own, but just the prices on that are really going crazy. So having the cover to look at is uh, next best thing for me. So just thought I'd share this with you. And uh, just shout out to Dr. Von Chilla. He's really knocked it out of the park on these. And he's probably gonna have a video out pretty soon too. He's been lining the walls of his reading room with even larger size of these. So uh, look out for that as well. But thanks for stopping and enjoy the video. It's time for another episode of the Luther Manning Show. <laughs> hey everybody, we're back for round three. Yes. This time it's a box of vintage. Let's get this thing open. Every single one of these was at least at one show, if not two, uh, of mine. So these are soak it all in. Enjoy getting a good sniff of that. Anybody? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, so not. Oh, oh, whoops, take whoops, whoops, whoops. Whoa! <laughs> So none of these books I had graded. You've got a grading list. Now, actually, I think you got about 17 of these. Yeah, I have. This is the, uh, one, the first two, death three. We did five. So I had one and a six, a six, five, a seven, oh, an eight, oh, and an eight, five. So, okay, you want to do a couple at a time? We'll do sure. Pairs. Let me see if I can pull out. This the, one's uh, pretty nice. Yep, here we go. But this one's nice, sir. Yeah, this one's got a little bit of uh, a top staples a little bit. Hey, a little I'll, bit I'll tell you what. We'll both grade these right now. Whoever comes closest, over under, gets it's a crack the book. one over there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to say this is a. Let's see. That looks like a seven zero. Seven. No, actually. A little nicer, maybe. I'm going to say a seven five. Well, we ran we ran the table here, so I said that my guess, and these are all pre numbers. These are pre uh, Mike uh, doing his magic. Oh, so they went down. So six zero. <laughs> So I had a 6 and an 8-5. So yep. I think this one's either a 7 or it could be the 6-5. Okay, I'm going to see a 7-5. Seven, 7-5. Five. Seven, five. One, two, three. Boom, boom. boom. Seven, five. Six, six, five. I get to keep this book. So <laughs> I did have a 6-5 in there, so either this was the 6 Okay, cross them off. And this might be the 7 You got one of the 6-5s and a 7 potential 7 Okay. Mm -hmm. Got to get, keep score out there. We got. We don't have enough. We'll, for we'll send a prize to the uh, the best 
the top was the best the ever was that, what was it the dracula that i did all 10 of them and i got them all in the right oh yeah you had to put them all that in was order. killer <laughs> ran the gauntlet and i ran the gauntlet that night oh this one's nice okay so, here we go another pair this might be the 80 it does have a little bit of goofiness on this corner so this is probably the one that i called in uh, this one could be oh no this is, i'm gonna say this is like a seven Okay, well, there was a 6.5 and a 7 in there, so. Yeah, little, the, uh, yeah, probably a 7, a little tear in the back. So this one, a uh, little spine ticks, a little bit of tear actually. Survey says, seven. boom, boom, 8. Oh, you got lucky. Oh, high five. five. <laughs> wow. I got a 7.5 and so an this 8. So this, this must have been Zingo. the one that I called a, boy, that's a, tell me you've ever seen a nicer 5.5 five than that. I haven't. This one's got a corner crease right there. Yeah, but not and a And then there's five. a little janky part right there. I figured oh, that was a six wheel. Seven. There's a little bit of darkness here. Is there any staining? Yeah, you got a little bit of staining in the bottom mm -hmm. bottom edge. You probably got beat for the staining, so. Well, that must have been the 6-0, so we're a little but off there. fortunate because this one right there has a little tear right down there. That's why I was going to say 7-5, but I think that little tear. And then just, just mm -hmm. a little bit of stress on the spine. This might be the one I keep. I have nah, an I keep the 5-5. Five five. Well, I have an, I have an uh, 8-5 already. So how'd you do? So... 8075655555. Can you line up with your grades? So I got a 60, and that would be, I would guess it's the 55. Five. Right. Um, I did a 65, I have a 65, so I guess I nailed that you one. Got that one on. I okay. did a 70, I have a 75. Went up, okay, so and you then I have, And then I have a 80, and here's the 80. Right. I think you won the half a point. And, I, and there should be one more in there. Uh, we'll get to it maybe. And that one I, so we haven't gotten to the one I thought was the next eight. one's a Spider-Man number one twenty-four. Oh yeah, I bought first this werewolf gun. by night. Yep. No. <laughs> I took you for a second. You almost got me. Yeah, man wolf. Yep. It's my son. Don't Anderson. kill him. But also don't let me get killed. <laughs> <laughs> so what did I? What did I think this was? I thought this was a seven five. Okay, let's see. It's pretty. Nice. I think it's a little bit less. Boom. Seven oh. Okay. Yeah, a little bit less by seven half a point. It's got like a little bit of stain in the back. Yeah. It's got something going on. I, I got a good oh. price on this at Heroes Con, so I'm happy with that. We got ah, who oh. wants those grapes anyways? They're too. So far this is the first there. Prowler. I thought this was a a nice six up. What a creepy name. <laughs> yeah, it's a good the Window name. Peeper. Wow, this one's actually I don't remember this. Got a lot of wear. Yeah. Little corn creases up here. It could be as little as. Oh, black, we got Foxing. Yeah. There's like some wolves and stuff. There's so much on there. So I'm going to say... 5 -oh, five, five. Yeah, 4 5 maybe. 4 5, five -oh. Yeah, the spine's a little more yeah. worn than I thought. With a bullet. Oh. 5 5. Wait, 3 5. 3 5. 3 5. Wow, that's really yeah. good. I could see, you know, because the foxing's pretty rough on the back. Oh my God. They're gonna, we got beat, beat up on that one. They're going to beat you hard. Oh, they beat me like, good. Like you did with Hippie Jim at that uh, big CGC case one time. The cover's thrilly. Yeah, I, I, would, I would have said, you know, four or five is respectable for that. But you know, Oh, here's the other one. You're never going to win with it. It's pretty. It. There you go. Put a slap the 8 old price sticker on there and let it ride. Yeah. Okay, so here's your fifth death block. Oh, this one's a pretty. No, well, corner crease. Yeah. Uh, what's your official assessment on that guy? This not is, eight oh, that's seven, maybe like a six five or seven. I'd get. I'd so say. That, that that crease is gonna kill it. Other than that, boy, he's really nice. Other than that, oh, well, let's see what we get. Boom, eight oh, <laughs> wow, with a <laughs> two eight oh. Got that zingo on that one because so that's got. So this is the one I thought was an eight oh. This must have been the one I was hoping to get. pages. I was hoping to get an eight five on. That's a sharp one too. Yeah, I like this one. I, this will probably be the one I keep. How, how does that get an eight with that corner crease? Well, because our, the rest of the book is probably a nine too. Because they knew it was your book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got the zingo on it. We Smith can't. It's We got. <laughs> Now this one was a little rough too. I mean, yeah, that one I didn't know how to grade that one. I, I gave it a four zero. So this is Avengers number nine. Avengers number nine. Yeah. And uh, let me think here for a second. A little tear right there. It's um, four. Pretty, pretty four five. I thought it was a four. Yeah, it's the creases aren't bad. Two but color. It, it looks nice and flat now. Yeah, it, it's a nice. It's a nice one. Let's say four. Boom. Three five. They beat it up. Okay, half a point. Wrapped it up. Yep. Oh, that's why. Oh, there's a piece missing. Yeah, I'm so 
The, this, this is great, the book that is there. I don't care about the missing chunks. Yeah. Let's give them an addendum grade. So right. what, what remains of the book is a 10. All those little chunks that fell off on the floor as we pulled it out of the bag. <laughs> yeah, those were like sixes and sevens. Another Avengers number mm -hmm. 23. And uh, it features Kang no more on the front cover. Uh, the Ravana is, is the reason everyone likes it. There is again, Mike. That's there true. Oh, oh, yeah. The, the, the torso. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Half a man. That's a nice looking book. Um, mm -hmm. And a 10-foot ten ten foot pole range. I'd say it's about a 7.5. You think that high? I did a three-second look at it. Okay. So. I thought it was like a 5.5. Five. Oh, okay. Seven. <sighs> Oh, I was close. Yeah, I it's thought this book. was going to knock it's my it book down. now. Yeah, it's the only thing I got a chance to see the spine look pretty sharp. Mm -hmm. that's okay. That's, that's, that's enough. So this, this one I just had. Crooked. There we go. Let me fix it. There, fixed. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, these cases are sealed on both ends. So those of you guys that weren't watching all the videos, which is probably 99% of YouTube, uh, the last video we talked about, CGC and these cases, these this generation of cases at least, the top and the bottom were not sealed, um, and they started sealing them as of, I think, early January. And the, uh, the plastic's different. It's like a gray now. It's not yeah. that blue color. And this has a, a hollow foil label. I did look at it closely. Um, under regular light, if once you look oh, at yeah. the grade, there's a light yellowish tinge, which if you put any kind of like blue light on or you know, uh, UV lighting, you can see the reflection. I, it's I picked this up for five bucks. Security. At feature. Heroes Con. Oh, oh yeah, I remember this. We were yeah. going through the boxes yeah. that time, and you got that... Uh, Avengers 23 there also, yeah. didn't you? I, I bought like six of this book, and I, I think only one, this might be the only one that got created, because what everyone heard, well, no, yeah, they weren't heard about the Netflix show, yeah. and or that he might be on the Netflix show, and they all sold for super... The funny super thing is, is that, that that rumor came, went, came, went, it's back on it's again. It's back on again. Um, That's kind of like a mid I thought this book. was a 6.5. Okay. I'd buy that. Ooh. Yes. It nailed it. I was right. <laughs> After I saw it. It's got a weird... That's about a uh, thirteen fifty nine value. But I mean, for a six five, that's really nice. Yeah. Anyway, for a point four, this is a sharp copy. So this, this has the Wolverine ad in it. That's that's right. It's the first true appearance of Wolverine. It, it technically is. Does it actually say it? It says that, yeah. Ad for, and this one came before uh, Thor two twenty nine, which that same month, but two weeks later, had the ad for also. <laughs> so this is the first attempt. Yeah, when I was a kid, because I have this copy in my landfill collection, yeah, it, it shows and it looks. There's two images of Wolverine. I'm like, is there two of them? What the hell's mm -hmm. going on here? And it, I don't know. I guess it was just that he was moving. So, Daredevil one fifteen. For those of you that want to say, what is it? It's not 180, it's not 181. It's actually this book. This is his first physical appearance. The first true, true, true. What we get? Boom! Seven. Seven. Oh, it's about what I figured. I'm going to say seven. Seven five, I, I called it. No, no. Yes, yeah, seven five. I thought it was a seven five. Not bad. I think I bought this for like two bucks. So this one should be a pedigree label. That is a Pinnacle Hill book. It, it is. Because I know you bought that when that collection came out. The local and this is shop. the first uh, collaboration of Danny O'Neill and Neil Adams. Mm -hmm. Is why everyone it's sought after. Um, now most of those books were really nice. The ones that I had like were nine two nine four, but I got you got sloppy seconds. Yeah. On that collection. But this one I didn't pick up because there was a little bit of wear on the spine. Yeah, I think it looks to be like a seven five or so. I think it's a little nicer than that. I think right. I think it could be size an eight. Okay, nine nine. Boom! Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Look gracious. And they always had white pages too. That was kind of nice. Yeah. They were all stored in the basement in giant totes. All right, it's just a nice cover. Yeah, you you were you were looking through those books. Didn't you get trade credit? Yeah. And you were looking through all those books, going, should I buy this one? Should I buy that one? And you got those adventure comics, the Golden Age ones. Oh with yeah, Sandman, two of them. Yeah. And you were like, should I buy them? I said, buy them all. Oh, it's you like know, I, I took baby. in. I took in. The three boxes or four boxes of uh, Bronze Age stuff yeah. that I had from one of the collections I had in chat, the store owner at uh, Rhinos, was, he was low on uh, bronze at that time. Yeah. And I had them all bagged and, and priced. So he's like, yeah. He's like, uh, I said, can I redo trade? I put up like six of those books and that was one of them. And he was more than yeah. happy to do it. And there's a box of pedigree books and golden because age. And... He had these here. Like most of the time, we these books are there. Me and Mike went through and 
there's guys in the store and we're thinking, oh, they're all going to be gone. And then we go over to the thing and we're like, yeah. we're looking at each other. I kept telling you, get over like, here and grab them. <laughs> we're like, no one's buying this stuff. Why? Because they don't know DC. I guess they don't. You know, and, it's Neil Adams pedigree DC. But we're books. buying $200 books for yeah. like $40. Yeah, I got my 400 my detective. So I bought these last year at Heroes Con. And it was the same guy that I bought the uh, Hulk 3. He just, he had boxes and boxes, just really clean Silver Age. And yeah. he was fair priced and, you know... You this one, cash? I think the top staple was detached. Uh, so yeah, it's a little crinky. It's gonna, so this is number seventy-five. Nice red cover. Um, I thought it had a chance at an eight-zero, but now that I look at the corner, it's probably more like a seven. I'm gonna guess six. Wow. Because of the detached staple. Yeah. Boom. Bye five. Right. It's my book now. Still beautiful though. Look at that. <laughs> Again, you'll never see a book nicer than that in a five-five. Beautiful. Unless you pull a cover off of a tenth window and put it back on loose. It's another Doctor Doom cover. People love this book, number 86. Same guy. It just was a really clean book. And I think he had these at you know, really good price. I want to say they were like 20 to 40 bucks each. Mm -hmm. So I just grabbed them. But this one, 86, what did I think this one was? I thought this one had a chance at a 7.5. Dismiss that low battery size. Yes. We don't need no low batteries. Boom. Seven of them. Mm -hmm. That's five off. We get about ten more to go. Hopefully, it's a beautiful. We last longer. Well, okay. the battery lasts longer. It's one of my favorite. Do. I buy this every time I see it. It's just a great cover. Simple. The Hulk is gonna destroy the thing again. <laughs> Survey says. Boom. Had some stain in the logo. Yeah, I thought it was a. I thought. Oh yeah. I thought it was a, possibly a five off, but I'm happy with it. When I buy things, I usually try to buy them a, a half a grade down. So you got you got to be one of those guys that gets infuriated because you didn't get that nine eight nah. and shake your fist at the sky. I expected a box of nine eights on these moderns. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself. Let's do a shoot up. Frank, first Franklin Richards, but also the reason I like this book is the first analysis. In the negative, we got two of them, and now one of these you got from Kim, right? Yeah, the toy store. So. What did he say? One, two, three. Four all and a five. All right. Within expectations. Yeah, I got four, five, and a five, oh. So I, I, I did pretty good. Yep. All right. Well, this one has off white page to the five, oh. Ooh. Yeah, I might hang on to the one. I'll probably hang on to the five, oh. That's a good grade. So this is one I got from uh, Dan. Dan? Yeah. Dan who? Uh, one comic store down in the hood. Oh, he actually had these books in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right, because you got... Oh, you, I got sloppy I seconds. Got, yeah, I got that killer. Because you, you went down there and you came back with a pile. You I had stay. a couple of uh, ASM 361s back when they were super hot. You had... 316s, two of them. Yep, you had the, the purple Venom covers. Uh, Hulk Look, 340. On this book, uh, Hulk 340, oh I had the Shang Chi's coming up. So, uh, a quick story for those of you who don't know. So, this is actually... New old stock. A local comic shop still has books from 1970 something. In 1973. They never, they never put up to yep. sell. So. so he says, boom. Nice. Oh. I didn't even got that book. <laughs> 7 0. That's exactly what I thought it was. I'm doing all right. Amazing. That one just had a imagine, killer comic Imagine strike. going into the shop on Comic Book Wednesday where the new stuff's being put out and they go, I haven't put out my Hulk 180s yet. Mm. 182s are still in the, in the old box. Yeah, well, hold on. I'll say this one I know because you bought this book I for bought me, this from Mike. And uh, I undercharged you because I charged you as a 7.0. I just I, I, this is <laughs> Actually, a Franco cover and I, I just I love this cover. I had three copies and you had the time to go through and look at the best of the And three. I got the best one. And I they're think. all 7.0s. I thought they were all the same. So I thought so it was Let's see what happened. Boom! Zingo! Nice. Seven five. Nice. So this one probably won't be leaving the house. So. Uh, you is. chose. I chose wisely. The, I chose wisely. Yes. Oh, this is a book I don't see very often. When I saw yeah. this, I was like, "Wow! I don't know where you got this one from." It's one of my. I think it's kind of a sleeper book. First, uh, what's the name? Slade. What the heck's it's the name? first appearance. Uh, David Hassel, I mean, uh, Knight just, Rider. They don't call his name out here. It's the first uh, Knight Rider, but uh, Ghost Rider is what he was called. So they, when he came out, it was called Ghost Rider, but then they changed his name. And this Not is the reprint. people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the hell's his name? I can't remember his name. Anyway, it's Slade something. Hasselhoff. Boom. 
It's higher than I thought. I thought this was an 8.0. It's got weighty white pages. It does. Somebody will be enjoying that. It's a killer gill pain cover, I think, right? Yep. Oh, hey. Sergeant Furious. Oh, this is just a great cover. So when I got back into the hobby in 2013, this was one of the first books I bought. Not this one. I have another one. It's got Dr. Hitz. So you got a couple copies of this. Yeah. I don't know. I, I thought this was like a four or five, maybe a five. Oh. Yeah, it's on the lower end. I would say that's close. Oh, my God. It's got hypno curve on the back, too. It does. Your favorite. Okay. 23 lessons. God, they were serious. <laughs> serious about their raping. Demonetized. Uh, uh, what is it? Five oh, that's what I had it for. So this is this is just a beautiful cover. How to um, get to third base in 23 lessons. Showcase presents. Yeah. I thought this was a five five. Now, is this the copy you got at Heroes Con it like is. some like five years ago, pre-pandemic? Uh, no, no. This was just last year. Okay, so we're that one guy's boxes of all the I've had a couple. So this just had a little spine wear, but it looks like a 7 but I think it's probably like a 5.5. Five. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. I just realized that this cover reminds me a lot of the, um, the Daredevil book in the Golden Age Daredevil with the yellow claw. Mm -hmm. It's also similar to the Captain America 74. Yeah, apparently they couldn't use yellow claw in the movie because it's owned by somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the first Shang-Chi in his jammies in his very odd skin tones for some reason. Cap 74 Red Skull look also. This is a great book. I, I love this series when I was a kid. What are you thinking? Boom. Wow. I think it's, I think it's a six. No, I thought it was right. I thought it was a five oh, so you killed it. You know why yeah, I thought it was? I was right. Because <laughs> someone had traced the Master of Kung Fu and with a pencil. They drew a mustache on it. Well they didn't draw in the book, but they traced it. And it left it bad, and then, and you must, you got it out because I thought it's, there's no way it's going to be a 5 0, so you crushed it on this one. But mm. I tell you what, for a 6 0, this is gorgeous. This might not leave the house either. <laughs> mm, we'll see. It's going to be buried in the books. Okay, and here's the ever classic Lois Lane with the machine that changes your hairstyle. Yes. Lois, you got an afro. I think Superman was totally behind this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. why don't you? I think you should be black curious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, my trunk's just shrunk. Demonetized. What did I think this was? Lois Lane. Oh, where is you know it? what? Make that last because that is the final book in the Five box. Oh, I thought it was a 5.5. Boom. 75. Wow. You brought in a huge high note. Oh, you crushed it, Mike. And I'm going to charge you more than this than had killer cleaning and pressing. Reading wear. Like, someone read this book over and over again. You could see, like, the fingers where they had bent them in. So <laughs> they this, gripped it. This is, this is a tribute to Mike's skills. They're sweaty palms. He totally got the So You must have hydrated. I just took another book in there. You hydrated this for quite out. a while, didn't you? Just backed it over the car. Well, that's times. how you get these uh, Silver Age books to flex. I, I fell asleep and it stayed in the press for about three days straight. So I <laughs> overpressed it. That was awesome. So that's a killer submission. So yeah, there you go. on here, I also have, Mike has either, you're probably in process or maybe they're already in, probably another 20 to 25 books. Yeah, I got a bag that I threw in yeah. the corner last month. <laughs> he literally <laughs> threw them in. Screw that guy. Screw him in a zingo. Yeah. Anyway, so that was a good, that was really awesome. So you can't see it, but there's plastic all over the floor and stacks. All together, what do you think? Probably 150? We'll do a little B-roll of the pile after. Yeah, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, yeah. It's a quite a quite a pile. Yeah. But anyway, love what you have, not what you want. And pack safely. And plan to come to Rochester in July to ECF, and we'll have more on that. And I'll put some notes down below on Empire the dates. Comic Fest. It's two days. Two big days, kids. And, uh, it's, uh, and I'll actually say it now. So we actually have Al Milgram coming. Oh. Uh, we have Keith Williams, Al Milgram, and we're working on a few more artists to show okay. up. So stay tuned. Yeah. All right. Great. So yeah. I'll talk to you all later. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye.